deep house, melodic stuff, everything. I just like to play everything. Well, for 2023, I'm in the loads of different styles. I think like if it, the, the style has been eclectic more than ever for me, I think in 2023, and definitely venturing more in the higher BPM stuff, but like the whole, not the whole sets uh, higher or what I'm producing. Cause I like the play from say 120 BPM, even up to like 160. Sometimes I've been going up to like 180. And, and everything in between so but I think if you were to say what one one sound it would be kind of like the vocally house stuff but much quicker than it used to be like 136 137 that type of stuff I've got I've got a few of them coming out no that is true yeah I was on holiday in Ibiza in when was it I think it was 2009 or something like that and that was yeah 2009 and I just fell in love with the place. I was absolutely blown away by it. And it, but it's so expensive being here. So I was literally thinking, how can I afford to come back to Ibiza every year? And I thought it just clicked in my head. I was like, I need to become a DJ. That's how I can come to Ibiza. And then I, I think I have been coming every year since then, I. <laughs> Yeah, the scene in Newcastle's been really pivotal in what I do. Party, like, sh it was called Shindig. Um, and it'd been, I think it's been going like 25 years or something like that. I used to go with that, but it was more kind of deep house stuff. People like Jimpster and Danny Howells and stuff like that originally that I got into in the Newcastle scene. Um, and yeah, for quite a small city, I think it, 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 it's got loads going on. Oh, massive, massive, like, there's, <laughs> there's, there's nothing worse than you turning up and, like, the the person who's playing before you has, like, absolutely rinsed it and smashed it to death. I think that's something I, when I was promoting, I, I was always mindful of that, like, it was always about, like, the guests we were getting and we would give them long sets and just do a warm-up set, but I think, I don't, I don't know whether uh, it's, like, now with social media people are always like trying to get those big moments for for online and not everyone like you still have some but the art of warming up i think is those djs who do that it's becoming a bit of a dying breed and a lot of, a lot of people are just going going in and i think it, it, that's that's easier to do that but to 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 have it going off but in a in a subtle way where it can still be elevated after that, that in itself is an, is an art. And that's why I like doing all night long, because I get to do that for myself and then play like the more peak time stuff like that. So yeah, the warm up artist is uh, re really important. Like for me now, if I'm, doing, um, if I'm doing a headline show at a club and I, I don't need uh, like a big lineup of su support acts to sell the tickets, I'm trying to get acts who uh, will help the vibe of the night like that. I'm so happy about it, like absolutely buzzing about it. It's um, it's the perfect place for me to be playing here in Ibiza. I just feel I had never played here before until the Ants opening party a few weeks ago. And but I knew I'd because I'd been here loads on the dance floor last summer when I was living in Ibiza. I used to come all the time, and um, I just fell in love with the place. And I knew I would enjoy it, but then getting that. Uh, the clarification when I played the other week, I was just like, it's absolutely class. And this, this room is just a vibe with everyone on the si sides and on the floor here. The atmosphere is just insane. So I'm really, really excited about it. And I think, yeah, just to expect the type of thing that, that I'm doing this year, which is just kind of playing house music, techno music, disco music, tech house, hard house, maybe it's even a bit of trance, um, and like everything in between really. <laughs> For this year, really, I just, I'm just trying to 
make more music than ever on the road. I'm really into making music again at the minute. I've, um, so yeah, I just want to release as much as I can, make as much as I can and just do, do as many gigs as I can. Really, I'm just going, this, this is the time now. Right, it would be something like staying in a hotel, like Hacienda up the north. That's unreal, that hotel. And like, good, this is what I did actually when, when I was over. Last time I stayed there, got up and go running in the uh, mountains up there, doing sprints up the mountains in the morning. I'd love to do that. And then go somewhere like Nobu for lunch, somewhere like Zuma for, for dinner go to the gym and then come play here. Huh?